Well, I'm very privileged to have an opportunity to work with HKUST because I think this university has tremendous amount of capacity and talent. Uh, I like to better understand uh, the, the different work of the divisions and, and faculties to really bring them together within the universities to bring what they're doing uh, to other people in Hong Kong who are working on similar areas uh, and to work with government and other public institutions. Because I personally believe very much in combining knowledge and to co-learn because these are difficult problems to solve. If it was easy, we wouldn't be having such a big headache. So for me to have had experience working with a large variety of, of people and institutions, to be able to uh, have a base at HKUST, to continue to work with government and other stakeholders, to continue to use evidence-based science to inform decision-making in government, I think that's something that I would like to spend more time working on. Well, I, I see many opportunities for young people. You know, young people generally, they want to learn. They want to learn something and then be able to apply it. And I think that is the future. So let's just again talk about the environment and sustainability. You see more and more coming from, for example, China. The national government is taking the environment and climate change and energy so seriously. You can see that this is going to be a big area of growth for many, many years to come. In Hong Kong, the government and the private sector are also paying more attention to cleaning up in, in a general sense. There are actually many different types of jobs to get this done. So you have the hard engineering. You have now using data, the big data, the, the era of the Internet of Things. And you also need people who can take the science and the evidence and turn it into something understandable for public and private sector decision makers. And you need deliberative process, engagements, and you need good communication. So for people who have different types of expertise and talent, you really need them all to be able to work together to be able to understand what solutions you need and then to communicate it properly to the public. So I think young people today, they like working together. They like to see that the different disciplines can come together and they see their role in it. So you can have a top engineer working alongside a good communicator, a good designer, so that the expertise of the engineer and the scientist can be presented simply in a few words and visually to the general public. And then, of course, we, we, we need the discipline of science to continue to tell us that our solutions, whether they're doing well, whether they can do better, and continue, of course, to innovate.